that humbling like beat down that the ocean always delivers I mean sometimes you could you'd rather not you do without them but like I think there is a lot to be said for that just getting pummeled in the ocean and coming up choking a bit of water and just going like wow that was a wake up it does cleanse and does such wonders for not just yeah it's just on a, on a on an emotional level on like a physical level on it it just i think without the ocean i'd just be a <laughs> wouldn't be much good to anyone i don't think i'm an ocean dwelling human being
I have to really like see it and see it again, see it two more times and then go, all right, I, like I got you. She was just the most unbelievably great teacher because it's you know, my favorite person who's telling me something that I'm, act I'm teaching me something I'm act actually interested in and taking it forward rather than it being like a textbook regurgitation. So homeschool suited me really well. She showed me skateboarding and, and got me, um, in, you know, showed me the, this beautiful thing that I'm so in love with now. She's just got that beautiful downhill slalom style. Her style goes, it transcends what it is on a skateboard. It's her outlook, it's her mentality. Um, it's her way of thinking on things and, and helping others. Every time I skate it with her, even though I'm at the park skating the ramps, always my favorite part of those sessions is to have at least one or two down the sidewalk with mum. But there's those little nuances, those little maybe mistakes that can just shape something that little bit different that might very well open up a whole nother world. Inspiring individualism, if that's even a word, but just to, to paint the picture as you see fit, doing it the way that you want to do it. There's no right or wrong, there's no bad or good, but there's just you.
travel teachers you know it's through through going out and seeing different cultures and being um, yeah being just fully immersed in what you're doing in the moment and the lessons that come with that I think are just so invaluable on a on a level of um, you know really sticking to your core
fall line to me is very up for interpretation. Following the fall line is following the best feeling. The optimal line is going to give you the best feeling. So if followed, you're going to have the most fun, I think. Coming into a turn and all that loading up, but then just not just like a physical release on a turn, but like letting your whole breath exhale through a turn. And he said the same in the mountains and he's told me the same in the ocean. It's like, it's really about, um, you know, I guess for him it's maximizing the most out of the wave. He feels that I think it's a lot of breath being focused on the breath. You have so many people outside the home asking you like, oh, what's it like, you know, what's it like to be, you know, the son of Nat? And I'm like, I never really had, an, you know, much of an answer for it because it was like, oh, dad's, dad's dad and he's, yeah, like, so it was, it was very interesting for me to get asked that quite a bit and kind of, honestly, still it's a bit the same, like it was, it was just not even a thing. Just always, just dad and just, just classic. such a beautiful introduction because it was never thrust upon me it was never forced it was always like have a go have a dabble and if you like it we'll get you another one you try see now as it makes such a huge world of difference to have a kid find it on their own uninterrupted bush and trails.
felt very much like a tree house. There was a big common room with a big convict brick stone fireplace divider, an egg outline which resembled half the egg was winter living, half the egg was summer living. So very functional in its in its design. A big walkway with a big swing, in, indoor swing along the walkway between one wing and the other wing, and um, it was a palace in every sense of the word. Um, so that's where I was lucky enough to be taken to when I was born. the place fully and I'm, I'm very very so lucky that I've got to have that seared into my being and I know every nook and cranny of the house still it might be gone but I it's all here and I'll hold it forever like that I'm so fortunate to have those memories and I can virtually never lose the place I'll hold that forever. Gotta say, it came down to a chance encounter. I don't know, it was this is jumping some years, a bit of a leap. I watched Birch catch probably 15 waves in a row over a two hour, hour and a half, two hours, and was straight up gobsmacked. The surfing was literally 
jaw-dropping for me. Like that was where the real um, exploration of just what can be achieved on different craft came into my scope and my view was, was birch. To see like a, a true artist at work was, it was truly mesmerizing and still is to this day when I watch him shape, it's, um, it's a true thing of beauty. I've never had time pass in such a manner of where you think it's been an hour and it's actually been seven. Each design has such a, a whole vast array of things that you can do differently to this other designs. I had no idea at that time just what was in store for me on a level of um, exploration in the water. That first batch, I think it was a six board quiver, seven board quiver, was just like a complete mind explosion. All of a sudden I'd check the waves and I just had no idea what to run down there with. Like the most beautiful problem ever.
humans quietly spoken, deep, deep appreciation for the ocean. He just loves the ocean. He's a he's a true waterman in every aspect and every sense of the word. Um, whether it be fishing, diving, surfing, driving a boat like no other. Um, but on a surfing level, I just think he was he was just always that guiding light of a big brother. Just so humble and so talented. It's just been like a beautiful blur of an amazing friendship.
following what inspires you and what fills your cup and what makes you happy and doing it with the people that inspire you and the people that you love. Um, I just think there couldn't be a better way to spend life. Um, we're just so lucky. Just so, um, I say it time and time again, but so very lucky, man, to be here.